Hi, software. Welcome to Styling Shapes, our very first code along that will make your shapes exciting. The first thing you're going to need to do with the starter code is go up to File and hit Duplicate. That'll make a copy so that you guys have it for later. Um, once you've duplicated it, also make sure you hit File Save. If for some reason you don't see the Duplicate button, it probably means that you're not logged in. If you don't see hello and your name, log in first, click that link from the um, asynchronous work document, come back here, then you'll see the file duplicate option. Now as we're going through this code along, like with all code alongs, if you get to a point where I'm going too fast or you need something repeated, please pause the video so you can catch up and feel free to watch it or watch parts of it again if you need a refresher. Um, I'm going to suggest that as you guys are doing this, you have this window open, like this YouTube video open, along with the starter code so you can code right along with me. So we're going to go ahead and get started and you'll see that I've already made some stuff for you. There's a section called code along, which is where we're going to be living. And then there's also a practice section that you'll be completing on your own. Now the code along part is just these two shapes in the corner. Everything else is stuff that you'll be styling later. So let's go ahead and get started by putting our cursor on line 12. We are going to be adding to this ellipse, we're going to be styling the line around the outside as well as the white fill on the inside, we're going to try and make it different grayscale colors. We'll be dealing with like the whole rainbow of colors tomorrow, but today we're just sticking with blacks, whites, and shades of gray just to keep things simple. Now when we're adding style to shapes, it's really important that we always add those style functions before the shape we're trying to style. That's why our cursor is right now on line 12, because we are trying to style this ellipse. One thing you need to know about P5 is that this draw function runs everything in the order you code it. So it's going to draw a background and then the text and then our ellipse, one, two, three, in order. It, that also means that however we're trying to style it, we think about kind of like art supplies that we're using to make this circle. You need to pick up your art supplies before you can use them to draw the circle. So let's pick up like some paint and paint the inside of this circle first by giving it a fill. Fill is just the function F-I-L-L, -L, and like all functions, it has parentheses after it. And inside those parentheses are the values that tell Fill how to run. So right now, when we are just coloring in grayscale, that's just going to be one number between 0 and 255. So I'm going to try putting in 0, and I'm just going to hit play and see what happens. And we should notice that right away, everything turned black. Um, if I were to change this to other numbers, like if I change it to 100, you'll see that it gets a bit lighter, but it's still applying to everything. And that's because you told the computer to pick up the gray or the black or the white paint, and you never told it to put it back down. So we are going to, if we want to fill this rectangle differently, we would just add a different fill above it. So I'm going to try and make this rectangle a much lighter color. I'm going to put in 200. And we see that now my ellipse is dark gray, but my rectangle and all these shapes below it are now this light gray color. You guys can keep messing with these colors and eventually we are going to add fills to every single one of these shapes. But right now we just need to see this distinction that if you want different shapes to look differently, they each need their own fill. Now, if I wanted to change the line around the outside, like maybe the color of the line around the outside, that uses something called stroke. Stroke controls the color of the line around the circle, and I'm going to add that as a comment in just a second. Stroke, because it's taking colors, is also taking numbers 0 to 255, and now I'm going to try putting in 255. So when I hit play, now I see that all the lines around the outside of every shape have turned white. So I will make a note here that stroke controls line color, and fill controls inside color. Now our last function, before we try and style these shapes separately, is stroke weight. And stroke weight, with a capital W, notice this is our camel casing, everything is lowercase until the second word, then we have an uppercase letter. We're going to see that a lot in JavaScript. Stroke weight does not control color, it controls thickness of the line. So I could give it numbers between 0 and 255, but I can give it really any number I want. So if I put in 5 here, you're going to notice that all of these lines got a lot thicker around every single shape. So again, this controls line thickness. Now just like fill, stroke, and stroke weight, you have set the type of art supplies you are using, so they are being used on every shape available. If I wanted them to be different for my rectangle, 
I could change it by giving it a different color stroke, like a stroke of zero. Now we're back to black. Or giving it a different stroke weight. So I could make this stroke weight thicker. I could make it like 10. I could try making it two where it's just, it's thicker than it was before, but not by much. Um, and these are all options to just adjust how different shapes are looking. If you want every shape to look different from one another, they each need their own fill, stroke, and stroke weight. Now there are also two commands that we haven't talked about yet called no fill and no stroke. And they do exactly what it sounds like. It removes the stroke or the fill from a shape. So if I wanted to try this with my rectangle, I'm gonna get line, rid of line 18 where I change the stroke color and I'm gonna fill in no stroke. Notice that no stroke has nothing in the parentheses. It does not need a value to function correctly because it's just gonna take the lines away. Now when I hit play, there are no lines around my shape. And I also notice that the shape that was just a line has disappeared. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that stroke back on. I'll put it at zero and I'll make a note that you can use no stroke to take lines away. Um, likewise, you can also use this thing called no fill, which will take the fill away. So typing in no fill, Again, there's no number here because I'm not trying to control a color or a thickness. I'm just doing one action, which is take away a fill. Removes fill from shape. And now you see all of these shapes are the exact same color as the background. Um, the background is also controlled by these color numbers, so I can make the background go black. Um, this is very confusing because now the lines are blending in. Or I could make it white and you see that these shapes are matching that white background. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give a fill back to this rectangle. I'm gonna make it, let's do like 187, just cause that seems like a fun number. And I'll add a note that no fill removes fill from the shape. So now we have all this gray back and we could use an experiment with no fill if we wanted to. So for your task today, you guys have all of these practice shapes down at the bottom. You are trying to give every single one its own fill, stroke, and stroke weight. You guys will notice that for the ellipse, I have already filled these in for you. So all you have to do is uncomment by removing those two slashes in order to start adding your own fill. The rest of them, you're gonna have to type them in yourself, but this is just to get you started. There are also some notes for line and point. Because lines and points don't have anything inside of them, they don't actually have a fill. So adding a fill command there isn't gonna do anything for you. Um, you are welcome to just give those their own stroke and stroke weight and feel free to experiment with fill if you don't believe me. Um, this should be enough to get you guys started. Please come to office hours if you have any questions. And again, please re-watch this video and pause at sections if you miss something in our code. Good luck, guys. I'm excited to see what you make.